So the maturity model is something that companies can use to benchmark where they are on their self-service analytics journey. We broke it down into four levels of maturity. And within the four levels of maturity, we're talking about six different capabilities. Let's start with level zero, the initial level. So starting with the data, typically we see customers at this level where data is siloed. It means it's locked away in data marts, maybe in applications, in disparate systems. It makes it hard to access, and the access is through data extracts. So that means using tools like Tableau data extracts by importing data from raw files into those BI tools. And so it's up to that business analyst to do a lot of that data wrangling to get to point A. In terms of the data model, well, there is no data model. The data model is the data file. So very low levels of sophistication when it comes in terms of modeling. And the user who is actually doing the analysis typically is doing a one-off analysis that's not repeatable here. The analyst and the analyzed, we're talking about the persona here, that typically is a pretty highly skilled data analyst who can write SQL queries, because that's how they're consuming. They're writing complex SQL queries directly against the data store, or they're accessing data files and wrangling that data in Excel spreadsheets. Typically, the insights are descriptive, meaning they're very backwards looking. So what happened yesterday, what happened last month, and the analysis is really focused on a backwards looking time frame. So when we get to level one, which is the procedural level, now it starts to get a little bit more interesting. Now we've taken the silos and we've probably have built a data warehouse where we centralize that data into one location. We've centralized that data probably by using ETL or ELT tools. So we've created data pipelines to get that data so that we've now relieved the burden of the data analysts from having to load data straight from files. Now there is a data model because now we've created star schemas, or I like to call them tabular models in the form of tables and views and joins, relationships in the data warehouse. So now at least we have a tabular model for describing the business. We still have a pretty high level of skill required here, which means we still need to have either an expert BI user or an expert data scientist, typically are the skill sets and the roles that are accessing data at the procedural level. In terms of consumptions and insights, we're talking about dashboards, and in terms of insights, we're talking about visualizations. So creating charts and graphs to get beyond just a dump of data to be able to start to understand trends a little bit better. They're still descriptive trends. They're still typically backwards looking, but at least now we can see data in a visualization and understand it a little bit better. So things get better and more interesting in, in, in the proactive phase in level two. And that's because at this point, we've gone beyond just first party data, data that we own, and we might now be blending in third-party data to make new and better decisions. One of our customers, who's a food processor, uses third-party data, foot traffic data, to be able to integrate it with their inventory and sales data so they can better predict demand in different markets. And that's a good example of blending third-party data with first-party data. In terms of access, we're not talking about just data pipelines and moving data from point A to point B. Now we're talking about employing data virtualization technologies to get access to fresh data and to get access to data in situ, in wherever it sits, so that we don't have to move it, so we can get access to data faster and that data is going to be more fresh. So it's a new capability, a new data integration style that gets added on top of ETL. Now the data model gets more sophisticated at this level as well. So instead of now just having a star schema and tables and views, now we can actually create a logical view uh, of that data. So we might create essentially logical views, taking tables and creating new views that join tables together to make it easier for users to get access to and to understand. Now the personas and the roles using that data typically are now what we call citizen data scientists. 
So it's opened up, it's beyond just an expert data scientist who has to use and write a complex SQL. Now we're talking about being able to use tools and to do more self-service analytics. That means there's a wider group of users who can use more off-the-shelf applications to get access to more data. And we have now data scientists who are not just looking and, and BI analysts looking at the past, they're starting to predict the future. So we're talking about augmented data analytics. We're talking about making predictions, creating features, and predicting future results. So the leading level three level of maturity is really where it gets very interesting because now we've moved beyond just data access and making it easier for everybody. And we've made data everybody's job. So in the leading maturity level, we're talking about not just enhancing data and not just centralizing its access. We're talking about also sharing data outside the walls of the organization. That means sharing data with business partners to allow them to help us make our customer experiences better and join together to help each organization become more efficient. We've also moved beyond just data access through pipelines and through virtualization. And now we actually have data operations. So we're able to build applications to consume that data to autonomously be able to make decisions. And now we're modeling in a dimensional way. So we've gone beyond just the physical model. We've moved beyond just the logical model of taking and creating views. And now we've added measures and dimensions and hierarchies that make that data truly business friendly and usable by everyone, which takes us to our analysis persona. Now we're talking about everyone in the business being able to make data-driven decisions. So no longer just someone who could write SQL, no longer an expert BI user or an expert data scientist, not even a citizen data scientist, but everybody who's in the organization can be using data to make data-driven decisions. When it comes to consumption, now we're talking about way beyond self-service. Now we're talking about data as code. And that means that we're building applications to embed those semantics and make autonomous decisions that then prescribe to the business changes that we should be making to make our business better for our, our customers and better for our shareholders. So ultimately, that leading maturity level means that uh, we've moved beyond humans and humans making decisions and now we have humans and machines making decisions to make a truly data-driven culture and organization. So we've moved the full spectrum of from query all the way to autonomously making decisions and changes in our business to make our business more profitable and make our experience better for our customers.